hello students today we are going to discuss next part of the transducers up to now we discuss different types of transducers and different transducers their construction working and application in this session we are going to discuss few more transducers like optocoupler loudspeaker gas sensor thermistor etc in the board examination there will be the question explain dash 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 transducer with its application and working then you have to explain in detail for the particular transducer so let's start for the next session first we are going to discuss about the optocoupler this is one of the transducer which consists of two transducer one is a light emitting diode called as led which emits the light when it goes into forward bias condition and so it is provided with the forward battery and one more transducer that is a photodiode which converts electrical signal into sorry light signal into its equivalent electrical signal so this transducer consists of two transducers one is light emitting diode led and another is photodiode this optocoupler may consist photo transistor instead of photodiode according to our application we have to use the particular optocoupler this is also called as an opto isolator because it isolates two circuits one is low voltage circuit and another is high voltage circuit or low power circuit from the high power circuit is isolated using the opto coupler or opto isolator these two circuits are optically connected means optically isolated and therefore this type of transducer is a dual type of transducer in which one of the transducer is led which converts electrical energy into light energy and another is photodiode or phototransistor which converts light energy into electrical energy here the input section consists of led and output section consists of output section consists of either light emit uh, sorry photodiode or phototransistor remember this photodiode is in reverse bias condition means positive terminal of the battery is connected to the cathode and negative terminal of the battery is connected to anode of the photodiode so reverse current flows from the output circuit in case of the phototransistor when light falls on the transistor phototransistor then the current flows from the resistor r2 and phototransistor because transistor goes into saturation region means depending on the light intensity this photodiode and phototransistor carries the current so as we discuss this optocoupler consists of two transducers one is led and another will be photodiode or phototransistor this provides the complete isolation between the two input circuits one is low power and another is high power circuits for both led and diode or transistor external battery must be required so it is a passive transducer because for the led we require the forward biasing and for photodiode we require the reverse reverse bias battery similarly for the photo transistor so hence it is a passive transducer because it requires external battery for its operation this is covered with the backlight enclosure to avoid the outer light falling on the photodiode so this is the backlight case which is used to avoid the external or outer light falling on photodiode or phototransistor 
which may disturb the working of photosensitive devices which may disturb photosensitive device hence we now discuss the construction of this one it provides the complete electrical isolation so it is used in a high voltage circuit it is used in telephone optical fiber cables to transmit electrical signals in the form of variation of light signals so at one end we required the forward bias voltage and on will be the outer circuit one more transducer we are going to discuss that is a gas sensor so there are different types of gas sensors available in the market here we are going to uh, discuss one of the gas sensor that is based on chemical reaction thermal gas sensors are available ava also available in the market but we are going to discuss here now the basic construction of chemical gas sensor generally the gas sensor is used to detect or measure the concentration of toxic gases present in the environment or required gases it works on the principle of chemical reaction means when the gas under test is passed through the sensor and if it contains the toxic gases means unwanted gases it will react with the electrolyte means one of the chemical either in the paste format or in the liquid format and will produce proportional potential difference means when the gas is passed to the chamber on that electrolyte it produces potential difference the presence of unwanted gases or toxic gases is measured in percentage so that is the simple construction of the gas sensor so it is constructed by using two electrodes this is one of the electrode and this is another electrode and here these are separated by the mesh or that is called as a gas separated and inside it there is electrolyte so that is a chemical and the two electrodes are connected to the voltmeter which provides uh, which measures the potential difference across these two electrodes this is a permeable membrane in this permeable membrane the gas under test is sucked through the suction pumps and by using suction pump the gas is entered in the electrolyte and there will be the chemical reaction and when the gas under test pass through the electrolyte ionization will ionization will be carried out and the potential difference will be observed across the two electrodes and that potential difference is measured by using the voltmeter that is the simple construction of gas sensor so now we have idea about the gas sensors so if we summarize this one a pressurized gas under test is sucked using the suction pump through the permeable membrane it is passed through the particular type of electrolyte that will react with the unwanted gases if the desired toxic gases are present then due to the chemical reaction the potential difference is produced and which is measured with the help of simple voltmeter the scale of voltmeter is calibrated in terms of percentage so this gas sensors are used in different application it can be used to detect the different gases present in the surrounding air for pollution like carbon dioxide carbon monoxide etc it is also used in the synthesis of ammonia it is used to test the presence of some toxic gases in industrial waste as per indian legislation act and indian penal code which are harmful to human health and safety it is used to detect or prevent fire in the industry or used in the fire alarm circuit so there are different types of application and depending on our application we have to choose the different types of gas sensor here we discussed about the chemical gas sensor so depending on our uh, required 
gases we have to select the particular type of electrolyte in case of the gas sensor this can be used to monitor the flow of fuel gases in the furnace used in the industry next transducer we are going to discuss that is a thermistor most of the part we already discussed in the 11th standard thermistor is one of the sensor which is based or which is used for the temperature so it is also called as a temperature dependent register whose resistance value depends on the temperature so there are different types of temp thermistors here the basic principle is its resistance value changes with respect to change in the temperature thermistor has different types one of the type is called as ntc means negative temperature coefficient of resistance in this the resistance value decreases with increase in temperature means for example if we observe the semiconductor devices here as the temperature increases its resistance value decreases which shows the property of negative temperature coefficient of resistance again like conductors which shows the property of positive temperature coefficient means ptc so in this as the temperature increases its resistance value also increases and that is called as positive temperature coefficient means there are two types of thermistors one of the is one of the thermistor is negative temperature coefficient of resistance means as the resistance sorry as the temperature increases its resistance value decreases so this will be the temperature increasing and the resistance value will be decreasing so one more type that is positive temperature coefficient in which the as the temperature increases the resistance value also increases so this is called as a positive temperature coefficient of resistance generally the negative temperature coefficient of thermistors are used for the accurate measurement in general different type thermistors have different temperature ranges for example Minus hundred degrees Celsius to plus three hundred degrees Celsius, with a change in resistance from hundred mega ohm to zero point five ohm respectively. So, this type of NTC type thermistors are maximally used for the for the accurate measurement of the temperature. So, semiconductor shows the NTC. means negative temperature coefficient of resistance property since it is constructed by using semiconductor this requires the external power supply for its operation hence it is one of the passive transducer now we will see how this is constructed we know that there are different types of thermistors are available and generally ntc type thermistors are used so this is constructed using semiconductor it is composed of sintered mixture means powdered mixture of metal oxides like manganese nickel cobalt or uranium etc they have different shapes like disc washer bulb and bead type
this is the bead type disc type bulb type and washer type depending on our application we have to choose the particular thermistor the bead type thermistors are widely used in electronic circuits for the temperature measurement because these are low cost and easy to construct the resistance temperature characteristics of ntc bead type thermistors shows that as the temperature increases resistance value decreases these thermistors are used for different application it can be used in medical instrumentation it can be used in different another temperature measurement or monitoring systems one of the application is premature baby incubation system in which we have to control the temperature of premature baby incubation exactly means generally up to 37 degree celsius which is equivalent to temperature of mother's embryo temperature so this is one of the application of thermistor it is used to compensate the effects of temperature in cooling systems like air conditioner fridge etc it is also used in the thermal conductivity measurement of different materials it is used in a furnace control system it can be used in medical heating pads this is a simple circuit how the bridge is balanced so if we observe this circuit this is also called the temperature compensation circuit in which the unknown resistor rx is nothing but thermistor whose resistance value depends on the temperature this r1 r2 r3 are the fixed values and this is our voltmeter that is our meter which is used to measure the potential difference between the points d and the b if the bridge is imbalanced due to the change in the temperature means if there is a change in this resistor rx the bridge will gets unbalanced and accordingly the potential difference will be changed and that potential difference will be measured by using this meter so this type of circuit is called as a wheatstone bridge circuit it can convert change in temperature into the corresponding change in the potential difference means as the temperature changes there will be change in the potential difference and this will be the battery used for this circuit so this it is one of the application of the thermistor for the temperature compensation next transducer we are going to discuss that is loud speaker we are well aware about the function of the loud speaker in this point we are going to discuss how this loud speaker is constructed and which principle is used for the loud speaker generally loud speaker is used to convert the electrical energy into its equivalent sound energy it is used in a tv sound systems and many more applications so this loud speaker based on a very basic principle when a ac current means audio signal coming from the amplifier or one more devices is passed through the coil placed in a strong magnetic field it start vibrations along with the diaphragm producing sound waves means sound wave is nothing but compression and rarefaction in the air particles so basic principle is when the current flows through the coil which is placed in the strong magnetic field it starts vibrating along with the diaphragm that is nothing but a paper cone loud speaker is an active transducer it is also known as electroacoustic transducer which converts electrical signal into acoustical signal means sound signal it converts audio voltage into corresponding sound signal. this is the simple construction of loud speaker here this is a permanent magnet strong permanent magnet and this is a soft iron pole 
and there is one of the air gap and in this air gap one of the coil is suspended this coil is nothing but how this is coil is constructed suppose this is the cardboard and on this the copper wire is wounded and this copper wire is suspended in this air gap so it is supported with the spider means this coil can only vibrate only this direction means when the current flows from the coil that coil vibrates in this direction upward direction according to the electrical signal and this spider provides the suspension for that coil so it may happen that this part is open and that is covered it will be choke up with the dust particles so it is covered with the dust cap this is covered with the dust cap and this will be the paper cone this is your paper cone which is also attached to the coil and this also vibrates according to the vibration in the coil and when this coil vibrates as this paper cone also vibrates and according to the paper cone the air particles near it also starts vibrating and it will produce the sound signal this paper cone is also provided with the suspension which can freely move the paper cone with the movement of this coil so it is supported with the chassis that is a, called as a frame which is either it is made of plastic or it is made of metal so according to this construction we have an idea that it is one of the active transducer it does not require any external energy it when we directly apply the electrical energy it convert directly into the sound energy means when this coil carries the current and it is placed in the strong magnetic field and that current flowing from the coil is ac current then this coil start vibrating in this upward direction means in this direction and according to this the paper cone will be vibrated so this is one of the active transducer so there are different parts one of the main part is voice coil then it consists of permanent magnet with soft iron pole it consists of frame this will be the frame yoke dust cap spider this is the spider and next will be diaphragm diaphragm is nothing but one of the paper cone which can move freely so this loudspeaker this loudspeaker can be used in different application like television it can be used in a cd players it can be used in the sound systems so there will be the question in the examination draw a neat label diagram of loudspeaker then if you have to only draw the figure but sometimes the question may be asked explain with the neat label diagram the construction and working of loudspeaker then you have to explain with the basic principle construction diagram and its working so that's all about the transducer if we move towards the exercise of this session all the detail answers you can get in our book that is simplified electronics it is covered with all the points required for your board examinations paper 1 and 2 both the parts present in the same book so in this session we discuss about the opto optocoupler there may be the question explain the working of an optocoupler with the help of suitable diagram this for 3 marks draw the construction diagram of the speaker and explain its working what are the uses of gas sensor explain any one of the gas sensor and next will be write a note on thermistor what are the applications of thermistor 
all these questions answer you will get in the book so if you require the book you can go to the our website of publications step publication www.steptech.in and you can order from there so these are another publication of books basics of computers basic of electronics and simplified computer science this is one of the four 11th bifocal and 12th bifocal electronics and computer science thank you for this session thank you